Sajahong, hi guys, it's Janae and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reacting to episode 5 of Our Dining Table. This show has just been like such a nice, like bright spot in my week and even though I'm assuming that we're going to get into some like heavier topics with the like appearance of the brother and probably the family at some point as well, I'm just, I'm excited to see where it goes. So before we do get into it either, I just want to say a quick massive thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members. If you're interested in joining either of those for early access and uncut reactions to things like our dining table, the links for it will be in the description below, along with my social media and my peer box. And if you want to subscribe, that's all greatly appreciated. But now without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> I just realized they probably lost her like relatively recently because Tane can't be older than like six or seven. So it would have been within the like last five years potentially, which is like quite recent for something like big and traumatic like that. I, lo I love the realism, like, yes, you might have a bedside clock, but you're still using your phone for your alarm, because who even has clocks with alarms anymore? This is such an unflattering angle. Like, I feel like it's taking away from being able to see his full like emotional display because you can't see both of his eyes. Please send it, you're not gonna send it. I knew I was looking for too much, but I couldn't help it. It's so difficult because obviously you kind of want them to open up to each other, but they're so like new in their acquaintance that you can't blame either of them for not really knowing if they can cross those boundaries yet or not feeling comfortable enough to cross those boundaries yet. Have you apologized for what you did? Or is it just or just other people who have to change? Sorry, I should, probably shouldn't be as like defensive towards the brother, but he doesn't seem very sympathetic. Mm. There's a dish like that that sounds amazing. No, he's like, who the hell could that be? Context? Shame. What is that food on that plate? It looks amazing. It's no answer. And yet you're gonna? Oh. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I, don't, uh, I don't know how to feel about this because obviously like I ship Minoru and um, Yataka so like I'm aware that I kind of have a bias here 
but at the same time it's just like you can see he's going through something if he dropped out of school or college or whatever you want to call it it's like it's clearly you know something big so it feels like she's kind of unintentionally pressuring him i don't think that's how she's meaning it to come across but it is very like i'm gonna tell you how to live your life from an outsider's perspective when she clearly doesn't quite know what the situation is and she's just giving advice generally i, th I think i would feel differently about it if they were like long established friends and he hadn't pulled away from everyone at college because now it just feels like advice he didn't ask for whereas like if we knew that they were like very close friends it would feel more like I've been supporting you because I like I understand that it's a very difficult situation but I just want to remind you that you also deserve your own life even though I understand that you have to currently kind of live for your family. Um, but because she seems like such an outsider, I'm not sure. Are you gonna drop by the... Oh no, you wouldn't. I thought he was maybe going to drop by at Mimo's um, ramen mm. restaurant. <laughs> oh, and he has a hat on that looks so cute. <laughs> oh my word, they're so awkward around each other and I kind of love them. Mm. Oh mom, you lost a child while you're being awkward. You <laughs> Just being dragged along. Mama! <laughs> They're too domestic, I love it. Don't murder the chicken noodles. <laughs> With, with his little arms that have absolutely no power. Sure. Yeah. Oh, no. It's good that it's near like dinner time here because this is making me so hungry ramen chan like ramen friend translating that in my head Nice to see that even though he's maybe not as deft at cooking as um, Yutaka is, that he still like has his things that, that he knows how to do. Everyone looks so much happier now. Food just bringing them together. We love to see it. Oh wow, that looks so neat. You guys better have like saved some for your father this time around because otherwise I think they might be war. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> it just makes my heart feel so full. 
My ah. stomach's so empty. Ah. <laughs> He's been doing so much better about eating in front of people, but I think it's partly because this is his, like they're his safe space. I don't know what about that seemed to get to um Minuri here but like i think it's nice like the contrast between when tane spilt on the girl versus on yutaka it's like the girl obviously you know she was she wasn't bad about it uh, i'm not saying that but like her immediate words afterwards was like you deserve your own life as well whereas here it was very much like you know I'll, I'll carry your burden with you of like taking care of Tane um, which I think is a, a big contrast but I'm wondering if Minoru is more feeling like he's so aware of the complications that his current life might bring to like his friend groups and like just being social in general. Hmm. Oh my goodness, he looks so fluffy. I think this is kind of like the only the second time that they've hung out without Tane there. First time was in the previous episode, right? Oh, okay. Oh goodness. I'm very rusty at chess, so I can't imagine like trying to play this. I can't remember if we found out what was wrong with her. Did she have cancer? Oh, he's so soft right now. Both of them are actually. Nah. Dad, I love you, but not right now. I mean, I still love you, but mm, they were having a moment. Oh my word. I love how judgmental he's being of his son, but he's like, welcome, Yutaka. You, you are always welcome, unlike my son. <laughs> the moment is broken and I'm so frustrated. <laughs> there's like this tension building up between them, or is that just me? Are you grabbing him a jacket? Please tell me yes. Oh. 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 Oh, and it's such a beautiful picture. Guys. Just when I think my heart can't get any softer for them. Always. Just keep keep on doing that. Oh, but he looks so in love. That's so cute. He's basically keeping it in his wallet, like 
I feel like that's the equivalent of keeping it in his wallet. Mm -hmm. I love it. Like it's so simplistic, but the fact that they managed to make each other so happy just like because of their mere presence in each other's lives. Oh my word, I love that. Like the show just manages to cheer me up every single time. And not that I was like in a particularly um like sad mood or anything like that but it just brightens my day even more so oh that was just that was so sweet and it's so nice to like see the dynamics that they have it's so like everyone needs those kinds of people in their lives and it's just it's so nice to see it um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I can't wait for the next episode. Like, I'm kind of becoming a little bit addicted to the endorphins that this show gives me. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I'll see you guys again next time. Zajin.